Good evening, everyone. Stevenson High School usually holds a track and field invitational in the spring, and the Eagles are fortunate. The weather cooperated today, so five other teams joined them for the meet. In the beginning, there was the national anthem and then the 3200 relay. To conserve a little time, they ran the boys and girls at the same time. Rapid River's Josh Parrott will hand the, the baton over to John Stropich, Stropich, and the Rockets have a decent lead. And Rapid River would go first, 9 minutes, 22 and a half seconds. On the girls' side, Tori Hoganboom will bring it home for West Iron County in 11 minutes and 37 seconds. To the boys' 100-meter hurdles, lane four, Rapid River Steve Johnson edges Norway's Ben de Kramer, winning in 18 seconds flat. Catch up with the discus. Coleman, Wisconsin at the meet today. That's C.J. Pilleth taking first place, 137 feet, 10 inches. On today, Rapid River, your winner with 172 points. West Iron County was second, and Stevenson came in third. Now let's go back to the girls, and we will check on the 800-meter relay. As things get underway, can't tell who's closing in early, but West Iron County would get the baton first on the final leg, and Elizabeth Pleaser will come down the stretch by herself pretty much. One minute, 58.6 seconds. Rapid River came in second. Now we'll put the hurdles back on the track again as we slightly go out of sequence in lane four. And the Wycons Castle Pleaser out in front of her teammate Alexis Golfus. And Pleaser goes on to win in 17 and a half seconds. Over in the shot put, Rapid Rivers, Taylor Hedges, a nice throw of 30 feet 9 inches. She would be second to West Iron County's Megan Myatek. On the day, the Wycons cruised to the team victory with 244 points. Coleman was second and Stevenson third. The Gliak track and field meet finished up in Geneva, Ohio, and Grand Valley State won on the women's side rather easily with Ashland second. NMU was seventh, almost made it the sixth. LSSU was 11th and Michigan Tech 15th individually. The Wildcats had a couple winners. Cheyenne Stewart won the triple jump to go along with her long jump yesterday. Christina Tugood won the 1500. She was third in the 800. Elsewhere, in the 800, Munising's Amy Kirst of Hillsdale was fourth, Michigan Tech's Deidre Irwin was seventh, and Nagani's Ashley Veal was eighth in the 400 hurdles for the Huskies, and Danny Ghani of Hillsdale helped the Chargers place in a couple relays. For Lake Superior State, Shoshana Bennett had a decent day, fifth in the 100, fifth in the 200, second in the 100 hurdles. Her teammate Leslie Mitchell was fifth in the 100 hurdles, and they came in fourth with some help in the 4x100 relay. To the men, where Grand Valley State also the big winner with Ashland second and Tiffin third. Michigan Tech was ninth, just ahead of Lake Superior State. And individually in the men's meet, Yanni Lane of the Huskies came in second in the 1500 meter run. Ironwood's Allen Peterson of Grand Valley was fourth. Peterson turned around and came in second in the 5000. And the Huskies' Kyle Peterman was seventh in the discus. To softball, Nagani and Manistique. Bottom of the first, Jessa Johnson, the base hit. Jada Johnson stops at third. Nagani trying to add to its early lead. But Lauren Anderson will be in the batter's box, but unfortunately she gets caught looking at strike number three, thanks to Brianne Ritchie. Top of the fourth, Lindsey Knuth, the drive, the left, one hop against the fence. Samantha Williams scores, and the Emeralds are on the board, but they still trail four to one. Short time later, Jamie Erickson off the glove of Rosalie Anderson. The throw to first is not in time. Gets away just far enough for Knuth to slide in safely. And the Emeralds are within 4-3. to three. However, Nagani bounced back after that and went on to win the first game of the doubleheader 12-4. They also took the nightcap 7-1. On the scoreboard in high school softball, Superior Central swept the doubleheader from Houghton, 8-2 and 9-2. Molly Swajden had three homers in the twin bill for the Cougars. And in baseball, it was Houghton over Superior Central, 11-0 and 19-6.